We're talking to the entire world. That's right. You that are watching, what you gonna do with yourself? Bloods, Crips, gangster disciples, Spanish mafia? Hmm. What are you gonna do with yourself? What pride is it? What have you accomplished? Hmm. To firebomb somebody's house because they owe you five dollars. That's right. When did life get so cheap? That's right. That a man can influence you, young brother, 15, 16, 17 year old, mm. in order for you to be accepted by your neighborhood gang. Amen. Your form of initiation, you gotta murder somebody. Yeah. You do it with pride. That's right. You got to rape somebody's sister. You do it with pride. That's right. You got to beat up an old man. You do it with pride. But God said, That's right. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth. What you putting out upon others. That shall he also reap. It's going to come back to you. For he that soweth to his flesh. Whoever sowed to his flesh. Shall of the flesh reap corruption. Hmm. Are you listening? Amen. Pastor Jenna, I don't believe in God. Do you think that stopped God from being God? That's right. You may not believe the sun has started to go down. Go out there and start yelling and get mad at the sun. I guarantee it won't, it won't get lighter. It won't get lighter. It's still going to get dark. That's right. I say that to say this. Every human that walked this earth... The color of your skin ain't worth a dime. Yeah. You must stand before your creator. Oh, yes. The same God that made you in the womb of your mothers. Yeah. You're going to stand before him. Stand before him. And you ain't going to be able to go to God. Hey, yo, what's up? What's up, God? Hey, hey what's up, dog? No, no. No way. Imagine the Lord that caused earthquakes in the world. That's right. That bring rain and demolish cities. Yep. The God who control life and grant death upon whosoever he will. That's right. It ain't a tough man on this planet tougher than God. No. So you may go to men, yo, oh, what's up, dog? But you ain't going to talk to God like that. No way. See, remember, Israel got rebellious. And they didn't want to hear Moses. I want to, we want to hear God, Moses. We don't want to hear you. They came to the foot of the mountain. And then, complaining that they want to hear God, the sound and the power of God went blasting through the heavens. Thundering, lightning. By the time Israel heard that, you know what they told Moses? Moses, we hear you. Oh, yeah. We'll listen to you. Like, we, we don't, we don't want to hear that. We'll we listen to you. That's right. But we're here now shaking us up, making us afraid. Making us afraid. You see, a lot of you don't have no fear. So the wisdom of God will bring something in your life that will give you worst fear you ever had. That's right. If you don't fear God, then you don't have fear. That's right. Because it is God and God alone who deserve our fear. Oh, yes. Are you listening? The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is what? Is the beginning of wisdom. So if you don't fear God, ask yourself, are you wise or are you stupid? That's right. That's right. You know how to pick the lock of a house. Yeah. You know how to pick the lock of a car. You know how to unsnap that bra. Go oh, ahead, man. You know how to drop your pants and spill unlawful seed. Go oh, ahead. But do you know how to drop on your knees like a humble man and bow before your Lord? That's right. That's right. Knocking up girls don't make you no man. No, no. Making a bunch of babies don't make you a man. That's right. And yet you can't take care of one. That's right. Are you listening to be, the old troublemaker? Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. You don't play with God. That's right. In America, 
our young brothers, and when I say young brothers, I ain't focusing on black folk. No. I'm talking about young men of every color under the sun. Amen. The parents are taking them to the grave more than the children are taking the parents to the grave. That's right. Dying, Dying. over the stupid reasons. Yeah. Flash mobs come together in department stores, tearing them up, still in clothes. That's right. Beating up people. They had this thing in America, I don't know where they got it here, just walking up to strangers and slapping them or punching them in the face with all their might. Amen. And then they laugh about it. Yeah. When I came up and you got on public transportation on the city bus or the subway, if an elderly man or an elderly woman came on, I was raised, I'd get out my seat. Right. Let them sit down. That's right. I say to the elderly man, yes, sir. I say to the elderly woman, yes, ma'am. The day if a young person say to someone, yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, you know what they ask them? Are you from this country? <laughs> That's right. Wait a minute, are you from this country? Where are you from? That's right. Because to them, that type of uh, intelligence is foreign. Oh. That type of hospitality is foreign. That's right. Young men and young women, God said, I've made you for my glory. All members of the human family were made and are made for God's glory. That's right. The teaching of holiness is to shape you and form you and fashion you in the original state yeah. that God made Adam. That's right. The original state that God made man, man was spotless, man was holy, holy. man was upright yeah. before he ran up on Satan. Oh, yes. Since man had ran up on Satan, now man loved to be evil, loved to be wicked, loved to be a liar, right. loved to be a thief, right. loved to be a sinner, loved to take advantage of someone, loved to do anything that's contrary to God's will. That's right. 30th chapter of the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 30 and at verse 11. Follow me. There is a generation that curseth their father. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Do you hear it? There is a generation that curseth their There's father. There is a generation that cuss. Cuss. That cusseth their father. Many of these fathers today, God help them. Yes. They just make babies, then abandon the entire house. That's right. Mother is stuck to fend for herself. That's right. Had to work two and three jobs trying to raise five and six and seven children. Yeah. Raising boys and girls. 